In this video, we'll talk about how to move and transform layers in Photoshop. These are fundamental editing skills, and you'll find yourself using them almost every time you use the program. When combined with some of our layering skills, moves and transformations allow us to create designs that are extremely flexible and easy to edit. First, let's take a look at moving layers inside a document. We'll do this using the Move tool. So I'll go ahead and select that from the top of my toolbar. Now I can go to the Layers panel and click to select a layer I'd like to move. Now I can just click and drag anywhere in the document window and move that layer around. No matter where I click and drag in the document, I'm only affecting the selected layer. You might notice as you're moving a layer that Photoshop displays these magenta lines and that your image tries to snap towards them. These are called Smart Guides, and they're Photoshop's way of suggesting places where it thinks you might want to align your images. I'd like to turn those off for now, so I'll click on View, Show, and uncheck Smart Guides. If I have a lot of layers, or if I just don't want to deal with the Layers panel, I can also enable Auto Select from the status bar when the Move tool is active. And that allows the Move tool to select a layer for me anytime I click on it in the document window. So you can see as I click, I can jump to different layers and move them without having to go back to the Layers panel each time. Okay, let's take a look at using Transforms to change the scale and rotation of a layer. Just like when we use the Move tool, we'll need to define the layers that we'd like to edit. And I can do that simply by clicking on a layer in the Layers panel. Then I'll click Edit, Free Transform from the menu bar. Notice how I get a transform box around my layer and it's got little handles on the corner and on the center of each edge, as well as a little target shape in the center. That's called the anchor point. We can use these controls to make transformations of the selected layer. If I mouse directly over one of the corner handles, I can see my cursor changes to this little straight double arrow. That means I can click and drag to scale the layer. By default, Photoshop is going to lock the width and height in proportion to each other but if I'd like to squash or stretch my layer, I can hold down the Shift key as I'm clicking and dragging. Now I can also use my transform handles to rotate. I just need to hover my mouse near one of the handles, and you can see my cursor changes to a little arc with an arrow on each end. That means I can click and drag to rotate around the anchor point of the layer. If I'd like to rotate around a different point, I can move that anchor point just by clicking and dragging. So far, I've just been making these edits visually, working in the document window. But if I know a specific location or a specific size that I'd like to transform my layer to, I can type that into the status bar. As you can see, I have some shortcuts for the anchor point location, as well as information boxes for the location, the scaling, the percentage, and the rotation. I could change any of those by typing in a number and hitting return or enter on the keyboard. I also have the option to move the layer side to side or up or down just by clicking and dragging anywhere inside the transform box. At any point when I'm adjusting the transform, I can click edit, undo in the menu bar to backtrack. While I'm using these transform controls, Photoshop will lock me out of making other edits. So if I decide I'm happy with the changes, I can hit enter or return on the keyboard to commit them. Or if I want to take the layer back to its original state, I can hit Escape. Making these kinds of edits is so common that we have the option of keeping the transform box on all the time. If we go back to our Move tool and enable the Show Transform Controls toggle, we'll see them on any selected layer without having to go up to the Edit menu. There are other transformations we can make in addition to Scale and Rotation, and we'll find them under the Edit Transform menu. Some do exactly what they sound like, for example, Rotate 180 degrees flips an image upside down. Others are more complex, so we won't have time to cover them fully in this video. But for now, that's an overview of moving and transforming layers in Photoshop.